Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss key value pairs or key values in Google Ad Manager, how you can use it to target specific section of your site or specific section of your ad inventory. This is useful in situations wherein, for example, you have an advertiser that you would like to target to a specific page. Let's say we want to have this ad only display on page A, but not on page B. Or you can also say, I want this advertiser to target above the fold ads, but not below the fold or vice versa. You can accomplish that with the use of KVP or key values. So first on your Google Ad Manager account, navigate to inventory, key values. Now you have to decide what you wanna call the targeting key and what are the different values. So in this example, I called my key as section and I have my values as homepage, news, and sports. So when you create the key value, the key is the name here and the values are the ones that you put in here. So the key is like the umbrella or the general name for it. And the values are the more specific level of targeting later that you attach to sections of your pages or your inventory that serves like an ID or an identification card for them. And later, when you create your line items, you can decide whether to include it in the targeting or exclude it. We'll discuss that in more detail in a bit. Now, let's say, for example, I have an ad I want to display on sports pages, but not on the other pages. So I don't want it to show up on news and homepage, but I only want it on sports. So after you have created the key values, you go ahead and navigate to delivery orders. You can either create a new order or use a pre-existing one, then create the line item. Select the ad type. In this example, I select display. And for example, you give it a name. So let's say this is going to be a sports advertiser. You select the line item type. Target the sizes. Again, this depends on the agreement with the advertiser. So let's say they want to serve 300 by 250, flexi with a 728 by 90. You go ahead and target that here. Set your start time and your end time. Set the limit as necessary. And again, the rate that was agreed with the ad network or the advertiser. Now, very important here is the targeting criteria. If you are going to target specific ad unit, go ahead and do so. Or if you want it, to run on any eligible ad unit, you can keep it as run of network. So let's say we're going to target a specific ad unit here. Now, very important is custom targeting. This is now where you target, whether you decide to include or exclude that key value pair that you just created. So let's say, for example, I'll call it section. So this was the key that we created earlier. Then I'm going to say, sports here select the value now you can also exclude so let's say for example i want it to be targeted on a specific section except sports then instead of is any here you select is none of so you're just telling or you're telling ad manager to target this line item or serve this line item on any section except sports but if it's the other way around, we're in, oh, I only want sports, right? I only want this line item to be eligible to serve on sports. Then you say, this section is any of sports. If you want to target this on multiple values or key values, let's say I have a couple sections where I want this line item to serve, then you can select them here. So let's say it's sports and news, then go ahead and select them there, all right? Now, if you have other key values that you want this line item to target, then you go ahead and click or and select the rest of the key values as needed. And again, set the targeting as necessary. Now target the rest of the parameters here as needed. Let's say if you need to target this on a specific country or a specific device category, go ahead and do so. Then all you need to do here is save and once that's done, you go to the creatives tab and of course, upload the creative for each of the sizes here. And where will the creative come from? Obviously it's gonna come from the advertiser or the ad network that you are trying to set up. It can either be provided to you by the ad representative 
or your account manager, or you generate it from the user interface of that ad network if it's self-service. And that's how you get their ads to display. Now, again, if this is the first time you created the order, don't forget to approve to set your changes or the line items live. So now let's say, for example, you're done setting up the key values and the corresponding line items order in Google Ad Manager. How do you generate the tags and how do you make that happen? So if you are using the Ad Manager Tag Generator and Tester, all you need to do here is set up the custom targeting. So you will see here the accepted formats, key equals value, or if there are multiple keys for this page, you're going to say key and then this format. So let's say, for example, I'm going to generate the tag for my sports page. So I will say section equals sports. Now it is very important that this matches exactly what you have in Google Ad Manager, meaning if it's all in lowercase, you have to also do it all in lowercase. So let's go back to inventory key values here and right there. So whatever I have here for the name and the values, that's exactly what I should have here. If this was, let's say, uppercase S for sports or uppercase S for section, then I will have to also change this to uppercase and uppercase here. You get the point, right? So it has to match exactly. All right. You can also enable advanced options here if you want to enable collapse empty divs. But obviously that's optional. Then of course you put in all your ad slots in here that you would like to appear on the sports page. So let's say, for example, I have the first ad here and it's 300 by 250. And let's say I have another ad and this one's this one. Okay, let's just pretend that. And of course, whatever you put in here should be configured in Google Ad Manager under your ad unit section. All right, so let's say you have all the ad units defined here and their corresponding ad slot sizes. Go ahead and generate tags. Now, what you will notice here in the header tag section is this line, set targeting. You have there your key and the value. So you deploy this into the header section of your sports page because this is now going to be the identification that will be attached to that specific section of your site. Right? So you don't deploy this across the board, meaning you have here a line that says set targeting. This is the key and this is the value. So this is the identification card of this section. So go to your sports page or target the header section of your sports page and deploy this header tag. So what happens to that line item that we have set up earlier? Because it's now targeted to only this key and this value, then this line item is only going to be eligible to serve where this tag or targeting criteria or line here is deployed or what will happen to those other pages that didn't have this line. Obviously, this line item will not be eligible to serve in there because this line item now is going to look for this targeting where this key and this value exists. So if you want to remove this tag, let's say you are going to deploy the same header tag for other pages of your site, you just have to delete this line. All right, and only keep it if it's for the sports page header tag. And obviously you're gonna have to deploy the corresponding body tags where the ads are supposed to show up. So this is what we call the page level key value, meaning all the ad units will be affected based on the specified key value pair in here because it appears in the header section. What about if you just want to assign specific key values per ad unit? So if you go back, you will notice in your ad manager tag generator and tester, you have custom targeting as well per ad unit. So this is now the ad unit or ad slot level key value targeting. So if you want that, Instead of the page level, you need to remove this here and instead do the custom targeting here. This is useful if you want to assign specific key values for, let's say, ad units that are going to appear above the fold versus below the fold. Then you can create another set of key values for them. So in this section, let's go back to key values first. 
and let's say I'll create a new key value. I'll give it a name. I would call this, for example, position. This is arbitrary, meaning you can nominate any name you want. I'll say predefined so I can just select from the predefined values later. You can also say include values in reporting if you want to have this included in your reporting later. Then I'll say new values. As soon as you say new values, you notice it automatically saved the key. All right, so now I will say ATF and BTF and click on save. How is this useful? Let's say you have an advertiser and they just want their ad to appear if the ad unit is above the fold or vice versa. They just want it to show if the unit appears below the fold because it has higher viewability. It really depends on what, what you're trying to accomplish here. So now let's say, for example, this ad unit appears above the fold. This one is also above the fold. So you can say here, the key here is position equals, and again, it's ATF. Again, I have to really emphasize this. This has to match exactly whatever you have set up in Google Ad Manager, or it's not going to work. Same for this one, for example, if this is also above the fold. Let's say you have another ad unit, and let's say this ad unit here is, let's just pretend this is ad five, and let's say this is below comments. Let's just say this is 728 by 90 as well. And this one is below the fold. So you will say position equals BTF. All right, generate the tags. And now you will notice that set targeting or KVPs are now attached per ad unit. So first ad here, here's the KVP. Second ad here, KVP. And the third ad, here's the KVP. So two are tagged as ATF and one is tagged as BTF. Now, how will that impact ad serving? So for example, you now created an order and you're creating a line item. And let's say you have an advertiser and they just want to target above the fold ads. Now in the targeting, you don't have to specify the ad units unless you want to. You can just keep it as run of network, but very important here is custom targeting. Select position is, and then select ATF, which is above the fold, and then target the rest of the parameters here as necessary, save and upload the creative. So if this is your targeting criteria here in this line item, meaning this line item is eligible to serve either on this ad unit or this ad unit, because both of them are tagged as position equals ATF, which matches the targeting criteria you have set here in the line item. So again, don't forget to deploy this tag. You can go ahead, copy the header and the corresponding body tags where they are supposed to show up. And this is how you can specifically target ads from advertisers or ad networks that would like to serve on specific sections or areas on your site and at the same time if they have specific targeting and you want to you want to limit where they can you know have their ads displayed and depending on the contract or the agreement with the advertiser